Daniel is consistent in his behavior because your destiny is determined by your daily decisions. Okay? Your destiny is determined by your daily decisions. You know, if you're regularly in prayer and you're consistently exposing yourself to the Word of God and you're consistently walking in obedience, that is, gonna, that is your future. Because how we spend our days, how we use our time today, that is our tomorrow. I mean, think about this. Let's do a little intellectual exercise. Where you are today, your current situation, whatever it may be, add up the sum of your life. And I know circumstances happen behind our control, but largely we have decisions that we make every day. How we deal with tragedy in our life, how we deal with success in our life, how we manage our time, the things we choose to watch, the things we choose to engage ourselves with, the conversations we have, the people we hang out. We make decisions every day. And those decisions ultimately will lead us to tomorrow. They, they encapsulate the entirety of our beings in the state that we're in today. Okay, So the decisions that you make today is your future. Okay, so Daniel had been consistently praying, consistently bowing, consistently walking in obedience, and that brought him to this, his elderly age where he is now, distinguishing himself before Darius. To watch the complete lesson, visit the link below. Go to angelsintheglen.org. That's angelsintheglen.org. Now, we have study guides for you as well. But remember, this is not just one single study. It's a series of studies that will take you on a path so that you can understand end time events. We want you to understand the first angel's message, the second angel's message, the third angel's message, because we're approaching a point in Earth's history for the third angel's message, which is about the mark of the beast. And it's don't take the mark of the beast. We want you to know what it is and why it is what it is, because it's an attack on the eternal gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, it's not a time to fear. It's a time to be ready. God wants his people ready when Christ returns. I hope you join us.